Long before Desmond Howard was an ESPN analyst, he had an outstanding college football career at Michigan as he won the 1991 Heisman Trophy in a landslide, but today I want to see what would have happened during Howard's Heisman season if he decided to go to Georgia Tech, the second choice team in his recruiting. In this video, I'm putting Des in NCAA Football 23 to replay his entire Heisman season with the Yellow Jackets. My goals for this video are to win a Heisman Trophy, win the college football playoff championship, and break every college football receiving record. If I fail to achieve any one of these goals, I will be personally sent sending $100 to every person who likes this video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so Desmond Howard comes out in his first game at Georgia Tech, and we got this opening kickoff, let's cook. We're gonna do this Nick Sabaka style, boys. Give me some blocks. Uh, I think I might be out of here. No way Desmond Howard's getting caught by the FCS East, dude. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever done a wide receiver road to glory in my life. Okay, okay, head tap, let's go. That's a good way to start this thing out, boys. Playing wide receiver is kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. He lost it up into traffic, but Des goes up and gets it. I'm just trying to cook on one of these punt returns now. All right, okay, okay. Let me hit this step back real quick. Yes, okay. This is going well so far. This is going well. Let me cut it all the way back, all the way back to the other side. Why can't we outrun a guy right now? All right, we're up 21 to nothing already. Let's get a couple more head taps and get out of here. Hit the back juke. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give me that stiff arm, too. Jeff Sims better not throw anybody else the ball here. Second touchdown of the game for Dez. Okay, FCS scores a touchdown. We got to put him in their proper place here. Let me. Oh, my God, that pancake from number 60. Is this our first of the year yet? Oh, 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 oh. No way that guy catches me. No way that guy catches me. Okay, we get into the end zone anyway. Oh, he hit that Heisman pose though. They added in like a custom animation for that. That's crazy, man. He's already hitting the Heisman pose in his first game. Oh my God, we come up with the one-handed catch. We already broke the school record for receptions in a game. That caps off an excellent day. Let's get out of here. Des finishes with 260 yards and six touchdowns on the day. This is gonna be a fun season. Okay, next up, Duke. We're gonna run these boys just like they're FCS. And we got this opening kickoff. Let me shake real quick. If this dude catches me. If number nine catches me, I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. Come on, Desmond. All right, it's okay, though. We're just going to score on this play. And with a, uh, uh, yep, 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 head tap. Let's go. Oh, bro. This is unacceptable. We got to pick up this first down right here. All right, I'm not running three slants in a row. Let me run something else. Let me run that. Let me hurdle a guy. Oh, bro. And they took me off the field. We just cost ourselves a touchdown. All right, third and three. I'm running this little zig. All right. Oh, nah, I got put in the cage, bro. Sims throws a pick. What's going on here, fellas? Got a nice little deep slant here. Let me get that. Get out of there, Des. Get out of there, Des. Let's take this to the crib. Come on, bro. Where you at? Oh, yes. Hit that Heisman pose. All right. I think I'm going for the pylon here. Let's get off the press. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can't do that. I'm gonna end number 26's career right here. Give me a head tap. Give me a head tap. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. Okay. Now we got something going. I want at least one kick return on the day, though. I'm not playing with Desmond Howard to not get punt return touchdowns. We just can't quite get loose. Another great game for Desmond as he's player of the game once again. Now it's time for North Carolina. I think these boys will probably give us better competition than the last couple weeks. Let me hit that back juke real quick. These uh, Georgia Tech uniforms are kind of icy. I'm not going to lie. I like these blackouts. Okay, okay. We got some room to cook. Let me cook then. Let me cook then. Come here. That's a good way to start this one out. All right, watch this beautiful curl route I'm about to run. Throw me that. Let's go. Let's go. Break that tackle, Des. Get in the end zone, bud. Yes, sir. We start things out with a touchdown. All right, we're cooking these UNC kids. We got a 14-point lead already, and I'm trying to get 400 yards on the day. Okay, third and 10. We got to punch this thing in real quick. And yeah. I probably shouldn't have called for that. You know me, though. I'm always going to call for it. Even if I'm not open, I'm calling for it. They're trying to game plan around us. I don't like it when coach puts me way over here far like this. Let me hit that swerve, though. Give me that. Offense has kind of been struggling lately. And he's just throwing it up for grabs. Yeah, I can't get that, bro. We got to make a big play here. Yep, give me that. Give me that. Let me hit the spin. Get out of there, Dez. Get out of there, Dez. Let's go. And we got a deep route here. We get off the press. And I'm trying to take this to the end zone. I tried to hit that back juke there. All right, boys. One minute left. I don't know what happened. I was just simming, but North Carolina got like an onside kick or something so now we're losing 26 seconds left no timeouts this is all on me let's go my dude jeff sims cannot take a sack here i broke the press give me that all right we're inside the 10 we don't want to catch this short of the end zone oh he's throwing it up to me we get the catch let's go desmond howard clutches up for georgia tech and we take home the win in this one by the skin of our team we come up with an insane 21 receptions and 360 receiving yards on the day and after that performance desmond somehow still isn't even number one on the heisman watch that's crazy last week definitely prove that these ACC games are going to be a little bit tougher. Even if we're coming up with crazy stats, we can still definitely take a loss. So we got to be careful. Give me that. We're going to take that to the house. I hit the swerve catch and let's just slow down here. Yes, sir. I love how they added that Heisman pose animation in the game. That's sick. This is another tough game, boys. We got to keep producing, but also be smart about calling for the ball. Oh, we're wide open there. Let me get that. Jeff Sims finally had the patience for one of those deep routes. Throw me that. Let's go. We get the feet and bounds. Reclaim the lead. Offense is going to have to keep moving. Defense is not 
not been great these last couple of games. As Sims throws me an absolute dot there, he's definitely been heating up. And they take a four point lead. So once again, we're gonna have to lead a clutch touchdown drive. Oh, but there's nobody around me. See if I can outrun this guy. Come on, Des. Come on, Des. Get down the sideline. We stiff arm a guy and barely get caught from behind at the 20. Third and eight. We need to come up with a play here. Oh, we get off the press. Come on, Sims. Come on, Sims. Hang on to that, Des. We get decked, but secure the catch. Yes, sir. And we are gonna punch it into the end zone with a touchdown run. We take the lead. Virginia Tech's got a fourth down trying to get in field goal range here. And we come up with the interception to seal up the game. Let's go. We are 4-0 and on the year. And there's no way we won't be number one on the Heisman watch after that. So after that game, we are up to number one on the Heisman watch. And if you look over on the right here, we're doing a pretty good job of beating Desmond's real life record. This week, we're taking on Miami and we're still not ranked yet as we just beat Calvin Johnson's record for receiving yards in a season only four games in. This has been a more quiet game for Des. We go into the second half only up by five. Okay, first and goal with a chance to extend our lead and we get wide open for the touchdown. Let's go. We finally get one in the fourth quarter and we're going to get out of there with the dub. This was our least productive game of the season so far and we still had 180 receiving yards. Our next opponent is BYU on the road and I want to focus on the special teams today. I've been surprised that we haven't had more kick return touchdowns. In fact, I only think we've had one on the year. Okay, now we get a cooking at receiver. We're out here one on one. Just throw it up, Sims. He's doing it and we come up with it. Yes, sir. And we continue to break records as that's the school record for receiving touchdowns in a season. My goal for the day is at least one punt or kick return touchdown. We hit the back juke and we might be loose again. Let me get around this guy and we get flattened at the 40. From now on, I'm calling for the ball every time on these deep balls. Desmond has shown that he can just go up and get it. They just cannot stop that, man. We're going to outrun number 18 for another touchdown. Let's go. This has definitely been one of our team's best overall performances so far. Both offense and defense are stepping up. This might be the one. This might be the one. Come on. We've got daylight. We've just got the punter to beat, but we can't do it. I should have kept that outside. My kick returns have gotten a little bit rusty since Nick Sabaka was in college. Let's get at least one more receiving touchdown today. I'm going to run a little out route and we toe tap that to perfection. The school records just keep on coming. Okay, one more punt return, then I'm simming this out. This has got to be it here. I'm liking the right side. Let's hit a little juke move and we got space. I'm going to cut it all the way back. Oh, we almost got the edge. We absolutely stomp BYU and this was one of our craziest days yet. Seven receiving touchdowns. So at 6-0, and oh, somehow we are not ranked. The Georgia Tech disrespect is unreal. We come up with that through the diving attempt and that's going to be our first touchdown of the day. This appears to be more of a defensive game. We're going to have to grind this one out. As we come wide open there and we've got space to run down the sideline, can we go all the way? I think we can. Let's go. That's just what we needed. We're balling out, but Syracuse has proven to be a tough matchup in this one. I like this. Let me get in between these zones and that's an easy touchdown. Where are you going, safety? Now we got that positive momentum. Let's cook. The step back is deadly on the punt returns and we've just got to outrun the punter. We get around him and we're going down the sideline. That's going to be a punt return touchdown. Finally, man. It feels like it's been forever. That's going to bag this one up as Syracuse can't get anything else going and there's no way we aren't ranked after this one. I guess the polls thought differently because we are still locked out behind people like 4-2 and two UCF. Now I'm starting to worry that we'll go undefeated and won't make the national championship because of our schedule. At this point in the season, we probably already have the Heisman locked up. So now it's all about wins. We've got a solid lead against Virginia going in the second half and this team is really coming together right now. Honestly, Jeff Sims has been really good as our quarterback. See, there was a dot there and we hit the hesitation for another easy touchdown. We're running Virginia off the field right now. Now I'm gonna need another punt return. Seems like this team has a little bit less speed than what we're used to. This is looking pretty good, but we get caught by the punter. Are you kidding me, man? That's not a good look. We're gonna come away with an easy win in this one though. We continue to get it done. We are finally ranked with an 8-0 record, but the problem is we only have a few games to get that ranking high enough to make the national championship game. That's assuming we beat Pitt, and this is one of the toughest games on our schedule so far. But we've already got it down to the goal line, and Desmond's going to come up with an easy touchdown. That breaks the NCAA record for receiving touchdowns in a season, and we've still got plenty of games to go. We're down 10 to Pitt going into the second half, so we're definitely on upset alert in this one. With time running down in the third quarter, we absolutely need to pick up this first down, and that's going to be a turnover. Just like that, we're down 17. Our season could be over if we don't take care of business here. Those elite ball skills are paying off and we're finally getting something going on offense here. We get a quick field goal there and we smoke the cornerback and come up with the one-handed catch. Wish we could have just had a catch and run there though. Now we got to punch this in and we get it down to the one. As Sims throws a touchdown to the other side of the field. Let's go. And we complete the comeback. Defense has to come up with a big stop here. Lobos is scrambling and that's going to be a fumble. We get the turnover. Now all we've got to do is punch it into the end zone. Come on guys. We should have snapped that later 
than we did, but we're going to tie this game up. Defense has just got to stop Slovis for 20 seconds here. We cannot let him get into field goal range. Okay, this is going to be close. They've got it at midfield with one timeout. Slovis is going to chuck it up deep, and they come up with the catch. Are you kidding me? And they knock it right through. But we do have one more chance. Two seconds left on the kick return. Come on. We take it out of the back of the end zone. Chance for a Heisman moment for Dez as we get around the outside and don't get caught. Don't get caught. We get run down by number 10, and that is an absolute heartbreaker. We take a three-point loss, and we should have had that kick return touchdown. I don't know if there's anything else I could have done on this. Number 10 just takes a great angle on us. Maybe if I, like, cut it back inside, but I don't know. The season's not over. We got a chance to redeem ourselves against number 9 Clemson here and finally get some traction in the rankings, as I'm pretty sure this is our first ranked game of the entire season. This is definitely the toughest defense we've faced all year, but we've already come up with two big catches in this one. We're coming out aggressive as we're going for the fourth and 10 on the first drive and jeff sims finds dez over the middle as he breaks some tackles trying to get into the end zone we're able to punch it in with the running game and this is a tie ball game but after that tough drive clemson comes right back with an easy touchdown drive of their own and we are gonna have to fight hard to get a win in this one. Oh, but we come wide open deep that should be an easy touchdown if we can run the clemson dbs and we do let's go but once again this clemson offense seems to be unstoppable we're gonna have to do this all day it's not gonna be too hard though if they keep running in these dumb zones those are so easy to torture i feel cheesy but i'm trying to get the dub in this one okay now we have a chance to get some momentum defense finally gets the stop and we got the punt return let me get to the outside oh we might have something here we might have something here We've just got to beat the punter, and that's going to be a punt return touchdown right when we need it most. Let's go. This is a true Heisman performance. This is basically just Desmond Howard one-on-one -on -one against the Clemson offense. We got plenty of room on this punt return, but we're going to have to shake to get something done. That back juke is so deadly, man. It glitches out the whole defense, and I thought we were going to have another one on the day. Got a third and seven now. We've got to pick this up to retain the momentum. We snag it right in front of the quarterback and break a tackle to get into the end zone. As defense gets the job done, we might have to go deep boys we're wide open in the corner that's a bad animation but i'll take it i guess coach just trusts the pass game more than the run game because we are not running the clock out right now but for some reason after continually passing the ball we're running a draw on third down this is a very risky call i don't know why we're not just taking the field goal as we run the slant we should have that but we drop it that is killer and of course defense gives up the touchdown i thought we had this in the bag but now we're gonna have to put together another last minute try and we are faced with a third and 15 this is not looking good fellas this is not looking good it comes down to this catch and we come down with it let's go all we got to do is get into field goal range now time is ticking down just throw it up again sims just throw it up again sims i'll go up and get it we get down to the five with the chance to run the clock down and get out of here that is our first 400 receiving yard day we're gonna punch it into the end zone here a little bit faster than i would have liked to score now defense has got to stand up clemson's got one last chance to get into the end zone here but for some reason they just dump it off short we're gonna get out of here with a much needed win an absolutely insane game for des he totally put the team on his back and that puts some life back into our season so we've got a perfect opportunity here if we beat georgia we'll jump up in the rankings and it looks like we're off to a good start in this one as we get this kick return all the way inside the third we are locked into the acc championship game we definitely have a fighting shot to sneak into the playoffs if we get a win today but des is gonna fumble it inside the five yard line you gotta be kidding me man this is gonna be a tough one fellas we cannot turn the ball over again today with a team georgia has i think we're gonna have to play pretty similar to last week to get the dub today gotta punch it in now i'm just running a slant here and that'll be an easy touchdown we tie it up defense has really come through for us so far special teams has also been helpful as we're loose again and this time we are not going to get caught we take it all the way down the sidelines for a huge touchdown defense continues their stellar play and we've got 20 seconds to score here let's see if we can do something with this punt return got room to the right side come on come on des outrun these kids outrun these kids we've just got number two to beat and we get it down to the five with 10 seconds left unfortunately Unfortunately, coach is taking us off the field, so we're gonna have to settle for the field goal here. We got another chance at a punt return. Let's take this one to the house. Georgia is a good team, but their punt return team has been whack. We got plenty of room here, and that's gonna be our second on the day. We take a two-score lead. Let's go. I knew that Georgia would answer back. They can't make it too easy on us. We've got a lot of space there. That safety is totally lost, and this is gonna be an easy touchdown. Their defense completely glitched out there. Okay, Georgia makes this a one-score game, but all we gotta do is pick up one first down to run 
out the clock here. And it looks like that's gonna be it. We come up with another huge upset win. We're taking on Clemson again. Hopefully my teammates can support me a little bit more this time around against them. Okay, we're moving the ball, but we got a third and five. Let's punch it in right here. We run a nasty route and that's gonna be our first touchdown of the day. Let's go. This is looking like it's gonna be another tough game. As we've got the ball down the sidelines, we got way more than I expected on that. We just can't have any turnovers today. That's not a good idea, Sims. We get the catch anyway, though. Okay, we're rocking a little Seattle here. I don't think we've run this play all season, but it works to perfection. I'll take that, and we somehow get past the defender and finish it off with a stiff arm for the touchdown. Defense only gives up three. We got a chance to reclaim the lead here. We cut it in, cut it out, and we've got a lot of space on this return. We get it into Clemson territory, and right now, it seems like we are putting the team on our shoulders once again. We absolutely torch up that cornerback for a huge game. We've got a third down here. We got to pick this up, and they got everybody over the middle of the field, but somehow nobody covers me. We take the lead with four minutes left. Defense gets the stop, but for some reason with no timeouts left for Clemson, coaches passing the ball. We better not throw a pick here. Now we got a third and six. We got to pick this up. I don't know why he's snapping the ball so early. What are you doing, dude? We pick up the first down anyway, so it doesn't matter, and we might just be heading to the playoffs. So we win the Heisman Trophy in an absolute landslide. Honestly, maybe the biggest Heisman blowout I've ever seen on this game. And in addition, we are of course going to win basically every other award we could possibly win. We do make the playoffs and in the first round we're playing against Kansas State. We weren't even ranked a couple weeks ago and now we're in the college football playoffs with the chance to go to the national championship game and we're going to score a touchdown on the first drive. Let's go. We got off to a good start in this one, but K-State's offense cannot be stopped. We got to keep putting up points here. We've got some space on the outside. Let me cut that back in and we've got nothing but daylight in front of us. That's going to be a touchdown from the Heisman winner. Defense continues to sell, but we've had a great day on offense and we split through the defense to come wide open. That's going to be another touchdown for Dez. We are putting the team on our back again. Defense hadn't got a stop all day, but they get a pick six and now we have a chance to really take control in this game going into the fourth quarter. If we can punch it in on third down, this game might just be over and we're wide open. That's going to be another touchdown. Defense gets the job done and we are heading to the national championship game. Dez showed why he was the Heisman winner in this one with 250 yards for three touchdowns plus a kick return touchdown. Now it's time for the natty. So we are playing in the national championship game against 13-0 USC. It's going to be tough to get a win in this one, but win or lose, be sure to stick around until the end of the video so you can see the crazy stats we got on the season as we started off with a catch there. I have a feeling defense is not going to get too many stops today, so offense has really got to carry the team as we snag on number seven for our first touchdown of the day. We go into the second half down 11, and this game could get out of reach if we don't get a touchdown here, but we scorch number 22, and that's going to be an easy one, just what we need. Unfortunately, USC's off offense continues to be unstoppable. This has not been a good playoffs for our defense. We're going to have to keep cooking this Trojan defense and we've got a lot of room on the kickoff here. That's going to be an easy touchdown. We've really stepped it up on special teams down the stretch. Defense finally gets a stop. Now we've got a chance to do something with this punt return. I'm going to hit the step back here and we've got room to the left. We outrun a guy, outrun another guy, but we finally get caught at the 40. We've just got a few minutes left to get a field goal and we've got a third and 11 here and Sims throws it right over the middle for the interception. We're in trouble now. We've got two and a half minutes to make up this 10 point deficit, but if we can crib this kickoff, that would be very helpful. We streak down the sideline and get to the 40. We've got a fourth and 10 and for some reason coach is going for it. This is the season right here. We get off the press and we're open, but that's going to be a pick. We called for the ball too early and we've just got one last gasp to try to close out the season with a touchdown. We can't get off the press and that is going to be the game. So we weren't quite able to achieve all of our goals in this video, but he does lead the NCAA in receiving by a mile with all almost 3,600 receiving yards on the year, 43 touchdowns, and to add to that, four kick return touchdowns and four punt return touchdowns. I hope you guys enjoyed this Heisman season playthrough, and be sure to let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos in the future.